Shalom, Shalom. Kahala, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, where millstone who rule well. And salutations to the brethren on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. So, <laughs> I got this abomination on the screen. <laughs> Jake, man. Jake will never learn, man. Jake thinks he's the one, you know? Jake always think they're the one. Nah, man. <laughs> Nate, this ain't it, bro. <laughs> it's not, you know? And I'm not even going to play the video, but in the video, the man basically mocked Moses, you know? He portrayed himself as Moses' part in the Red Sea delivering us out of Egypt, you know? And just really, nigga? <laughs> like, after... All the things that's going on at IUIC right now, you know, he really, he's really just showing us how much of a joke him and his congregation are, you know, and it's not, it's not to belittle them or anything, but, you know, this is a joke. This is a big joke. And, you know, and he's showing that he takes Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the, the, you know, the, um, the history of the Exodus as a joke, you know. This man is is walking around on screen using fake spiritual powers and effects to, to say that he's Moses, man. And this is a gimmick, you know. It's a gimmick to rein in more money for his so-called uh, celebration, man. You know, which the Passover is not a celebration. It's not a party. It's not a fun time. And it's, it's deathly serious because back then it was deathly serious, man. You know, we were running, literally running from death, man. You know, and when you go down and you read these comments, you got people that are that are buying into this, man. You know, uh, this guy, King High, you know, that right there was Illmatic. You know, Passover 2019 is nigh. Can't wait. Lord's will, me and my family will be celebrating in London. You know, love it, Bishop, and now them going to talk about you. But I know you're used to it. <laughs> You damn right we gonna talk about him. <laughs> you damn right we gonna talk about this clown. You know? But this this is not this is not humility, you know. After all the things that's going on in IUIC, this man continues to prostrate around and show pride, man. When he should be, you know, laying low and getting his congregation together, man. You know? But let me let me go into Exodus the twelfth chapter, you know. Because, now I'm not going to go into the story of Moses because everybody knows the story of Moses and why it happened, you know. But let me go into Exodus 12 and show you the seriousness of, you know, of the Passover, man. Let's see, where do I want to start? Matter of fact. I'm going to start at 5. It's Exodus 12 and 5. It says, Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male the first year. He shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and he shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill and eat it in the morning. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on two side posts and the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. Now, the reason why I, start, I started from 5 because I wanted to get straight to the point. But when you read verse 7, the blood that's striking on the two door on two side posts, you know, which is the threshold of the door, is the blood of the lamb. Now, if you understand the correlation between the blood of the lamb that was killed in the Passover and the blood of Yahweh Shai, which, you know, he's called a sacrificial lamb, there's a spiritual connection there, you know. That blood was stricken on the door post so that which represents the blood of Yahweh Shai, you know, which represents the spirit, man. Because the scriptures say that the life force is in the, is in the blood. Verse 8, it says, And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire. His heads, his head and his leg, legs, with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain till the morning. That which remaineth of it in the morning, uh, the, until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And the reason why 
We ate the Passover standing up with our loins girded and we ate it in haste, you know, because remember at that time we were running from, from the Egyptians, man, you know, we were running from the Egyptians at this time. So we didn't have time to sit down and, you know, have a drink and be merry and, and have a party, man, you know, this was a death, was a deathly serious time. It says, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn of the land of Egypt. This is what was going on, man. You know, this was a time of death and mourning, man. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So the reason why we put the blood on the doorpost was to was to be exempt from the destruction, man. You know, that the Lord was passing over Egypt. And that's what celebrating the Passover now today represents, man. And this guy, Nate, and you guys of IUIC, man, and I'm not to say that there aren't any um, any sincere, you know, sincere guys in IUIC, because there are, you know, but a lot of you, a lot of you, most of you guys are going to eat the Passover unworthily, man, and be found put to death, you know, and the Lord will eventually destroy you because you're not, you're eating the Passover unworthily, man, and all that blood is on Nate's hands because he's causing you guys to eat of the Passover unworthily, man, you know. It says, when I smite the land of Egypt, it says, and this day shall be unto you a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast of the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever, you know. And that word memorial means to remember, man, you know. A lot of guys celebrating the Passover and don't even understand what it's about, you know. Just celebrating it just to be doing something, just to say that they're Israelites, man. And that's not the way it goes, you know. But look, man, <laughs> look, man, we're celebrating a Passover, you know, to save our own asses, you know, to be delivered out of Egypt, man, the, the spiritual modern day Egypt. This is Jeremiah 16 and 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 15, 14. It says, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall be no more said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, you know, because during the land of Egypt, you know, that we were going through the Passover, you know, we're going through a spiritual Passover now. So, but the Lord liveth that bringeth up the children of Israel from the land of the north, which we're in North America. And this is where, you know, most of the tribes have, uh, have assembled. And from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, you know. So and we're going to, and from all the lands around the world, man, and we're going to be brought into the kingdom of heaven. But the thing is, Nate, <laughs> you're not the one that's going to do it, man. <laughs> you're not, you know, because you have corrupted the word of the Lord. You have mocked the name of the Lord. You know, you've mocked the men of the Lord. You know, you're not the one. And all you guys in this congregation that might be listening to this video or, or all the guys that, you know, that thinking about leaning towards IUIC, don't, you know, because he's going to lead you to the slaughter, man, because of his pride, you know, and he has no fear. That's why he created this video. That's why he created this video. That's why he continues to do the things the way he does, because he has no fear of the most high, man, which ultimately means he has no wisdom. Do you really want to follow a guy that has no wisdom of the Lord? This is Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's exactly what he's despised, man. He's despised the wisdom and instruction from the Spirit of the Lord, which came through the apostles, man. You know, telling him how to do things the right way. But he's despised it, man, because he's willful, just like two-thirds of our nation. You know, because it's pride. This is Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, you know. And you're seeing the shame of IUIC right now, man, you know, because they're so prideful. Now you're, you, there's all of this controversy concerning IUIC, man, you know, with, uh, with, you know, with that Morgan, the Morgan lady and you got, you know, guys getting shot, you know, you got 
um, you know, uh, people, you know, disclosing all these crazy things that they once said about us, and it's coming out on them, you know, and he mocked the name of the Lord, man, and he did all of that out of pride, and that's why the shame is coming upon you, Nate, you know, that's why shame is coming upon the congregation, IUIC, you know, it says when pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with lowly, the lowly is wisdom, you know, and the lowly would, would be great millstone, man. You know, I'm just going to say for what it is, man. We took the low road, you know. We let them say all these all these ghastly, abominable things about us, man, and just kept kept doing the work. And now you're seeing the shame of who, you know, of who's really doing the dirt, man. It's Proverbs 16 and, four, 16 and 18. Pride goes before destruction and in haughty spirit before a fall. And that whole congregation of IUIC has followed after Nate's haughty spirit, man. You know, and that's why they're falling. You know, verse 19, better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. You know, because at the end of the day, the proud is going to be destroyed. You know, and Apostle Tar has been saying it for a decade plus, man, that the Lord was going to break up IUIC, man. And you're seeing the dismantling of IUIC as we speak, you know. And because <laughs> this guy, Nate, is a deceiver. You know, and every and all the heads of this congregation are deceivers, man. You know, and they pervert the doctrine of the Lord. You know, this is Ephesians chapter four, verse 14 it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. You know, because children believe everything that they see and everything that they read, man. You know, like these got like these people on the common board. You know. Yeah, that right there was Illmatic. Love it, Bishop. Can't wait for the Passover. All praises, beautiful presentation. Description is perfect. Like, these guys are the epitome of simple, man. Because they, they're they all worried about presentation and flash and, and things like that. So they're worrying about the doctrine of the Lord, man. You know? It says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. And carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. You know, it says by the slight of men. And you know, when you look at, when you think of the word slight, you think of what? Slight of hand, you know? And when someone does slight of hand, they're making you think something's there that's not. Or they're making you think something's not there that is there, you know? They're deceiving you. When you look at this word slight, in the blue letter. Strong's G2940, Kubaya. 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 Let's see. And it says, <laughs> from the root word kubos, a cube, an example, die for playing. Hmm. And if you know anything about, you know, I'm sure brothers have seen dice games go wrong or, or uh, you know, card games go wrong and people end up fighting and, you know, or getting shot or something like that because they're playing, they, they're 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 cheating, you know. People and people serious about their money, you know. And that's exactly what Nate is doing, man. He's playing a dice game and he's cheating at it, you know. He's climbing up some other way. Verse one, I mean, uh, verse one, uh, definition one. It says dice playing, metaphor the deception of men, because dice players sometimes cheated and defrauded their fellow players, and that happened all the time, man. You know, happens in card games, it happens in poker, it happens in, in, in the pool game, man. You know, it's called hustling. You know, and that's what Nate is, man. He's hustling, man. This is a hustle. This man doesn't care about Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai and the flock. This is a hustle for him. Passover registration, only a few spots left. And why is he saying that, man? Because he's charging per seat. He's charging per family, man. You know? He's turned the he's turned the house of the most high into a house of merchants, man. You know? That's what he's doing. And he's going to be put to death for that, man. D dice playing. What did the root word say? Die for playing, man. You know? Because one, he's playing with the most high. You know? And he's and he's and he's cheating. And he's robbing the most high. You know? Scriptures say, will a man rob God? Will a man rob the most high? You know? 
And when Jake tries to find any way to supplant, he'll do it, man. And that's going to be his downfall. You know, but the thing is, here at Great Millstone, we're not, well, let me just read the scripture, man. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. It says, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of the Most High, but as of sincerity, you know. So we're sincere, man. We don't convert, uh, we don't corrupt the word of the Lord like these other groups do, man, for their own personal gain, man. We're all about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's all it's about, you know. Because we're sincere. The scriptures say, let your life be sincere, man. And this guy, Nate's clearly not sincere. That's why we call him Nate Satan. Dude's a snake. It says, but as of the Most High, in the sight of the Most High, speak we in Yahweh Shai. You know? And that's that's pretty much it, man. You know, we speak in Yahweh Shai, man. We, we do all things in Yahweh Shai, man. Not for vain glory and filthy lucre, man. And to make money, you know? And not to portray ourselves as something we are not, man. Because you're supposed to reverence your ancestors. This is not reverence. This here, this crap is not reverence, man. Not at all. He's mocking his ancestors, man. Like, I'm just play a little bit of this. <laughs> this is hilarious. Stick a little bit. Escaping the curse of spiritual easy. Like he's just Moses gonna bring Israel to, to salvation, man. Look at this. Yeah, man, this guy's through. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to play a video, but, man, this, that's too much. This is too much, man. He, he's going too far. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to give all phrases to you. How about Shimia Oshai? Double honors to the apostles and Ellis Great Millstone really well. The salutation to the brethren all over the four corners of the earth, blessing the word and truth and sincerity. Shalom.